My main goal in this project was to not sacrifice any functionality in making it look good. In fact, there were several functions that I wanted to add that a typical PC would not include. One of the biggest problems was the rampant use of LEDs on typical computers. Uh, you know, they're very useful for indicating drive activity and such, but they would look really wrong on something that's supposed to be steampunk. Uh, my solution was to incorporate this furnace whose uh, simulated flames would serve as the various indicators I wanted. This way, when something's going on, it appears the flame is flickering. Right now, it has various indicators for the optical drives, the hard drive, and the two card readers. Each one, although, it's the, although the light is diffused, um, the, the lines in the grill sort of help me tell which one is activating at what time. Uh, my favorite part of the furnace, though, is one of these new functions that I mentioned. Um, when I flip this lever here, this activates the circuit that turns the furnace into an indicator of CPU usage. Uh, controlled by the parallel port, uh, the faster or the harder the CPU is working, the brighter the flame gets. Uh, this is just like the bar graph that's on Windows Task Manager. Um, unfortunately, it only has 8 degrees of, of brightness, but that serves pretty well. Here, I'll start up a program here. Right now, it's around 20%. Now, if I start up a program, it should flare up nicely. There we go. Yeah, it was just a little bit there, but you can see how it goes all the way up. Now, I'm not sure how this would actually work if it was actually steam-powered. Uh, I guess it doesn't really make that much sense, but I suppose if you use your imagination, perhaps the faster the steam engine has to work, it has some sort of a feedback mechanism that blows more air into the furnace. I don't know, but it's just fun. Um, well, that's about it for this part. Uh, thanks for watching.